Today we come with a very nice video. We are in Brazil, south of Brazil, more specifically in the state of Rio Grande do Sul at the Italian colony city of São Marcos. So one very nice thing about Brazil is that the country is such a huge country that the, the diversity is equally huge and that reflects on the food. For example, here we are in an Italian colony and uh, I grew up with these amazing traditional Italian dishes and this is part of my culture, our culture and uh, I would like to show you today how we make sagu. This is my mom's recipe, she's too shy to appear in front of the camera so I will be teaching how to make it today uh, but this is a recipe that has been passed down by generations in the family and I hope you like it as much as we do. Maybe in the future she will have the courage to um, show herself up in the camera and teach us some more recipes. Give a thumbs up if you want to see that, huh? Then I can uh, show some encouragement to her. Let's see her. Huh? Let's start. Action! Okay, so the, for the ingredients now, uh, I will be listing it. You can check it in the link below in our blog. It will be listed, but as well I'm going to tell you what we will be using right now. It is a short list. You will need water, sugar, my mom always uses white sugar if you want to try to make a, a healthier recipe and use maybe brown sugar. Let us know how it tastes because we actually never tried it, it's my mama recipe so she always uses a white sugar. And sago balls, the sago balls are not as big as like um, they use using boba, so are smaller sago balls. And, um, the last and more important ingredient is wine or grape juice. So the recipe is traditionally made with wine. Today we'll be using grape juice because my mom does a delicious grape juice. And uh, it doesn't affect the flavor that much. When we use wine, the only difference on the preparation is that wine will be burning the alcohol. So there is a step where we'll burn the alcohol uh, from this recipe, so it is safe for children, for everyone, even for people who doesn't consume alcohol. Uh, if you use grape juice, you have to be sure it is a whole grape juice, no water, no sugar, nothing mixture. The same goes with the wine, it gotta be red wine, no sugar, just a very good wine you can find. Let's begin. To every liter of liquid you use, you'll be using one cup of sugar and one cup of sago box. Uh, so in this case we'll be using one liter of grape juice and half liter of water. So we'll be having one and a half uh, liter of liquid. So we need one and a half cup of sago box and one and a half cup of sugar. First thing you do is you pour your water into the sago balls and you let them soak for five minutes. Next step, you pour your wine or your grape juice into a pan. Make sure you calculate the size of the pan, that everything will fit on it. Next, you put your wine or grape juice to boil and then you have to wait till it comes to a boil. When it comes to a boil, if you're using wine, you can leave it for around 5 minutes and then the alcohol will evaporate. Otherwise, if you're using grape juice, you can already go to the next step. So next, you will pour your sago balls with water into your pan with the boiling wine or juice. Do it slowly to avoid any um, hot spills. And then you stir it until it comes again to a boil temperature and after that you can come and stir it once in a while but you don't have to do it all the time anymore. After it comes to a boiling you have to leave your fire in the lowest temperature and leave it for 30 to 40 minutes until the next step. During the 30 to 40 minutes you have to stir it once in a while but you don't have to do it all the time anymore. This recipe tastes its best when it's done at the wooden stove. 
But as we know, you probably have the gas stove or electric stove. We are showing how to do it this way to just make it more simple and understandable for every one of you. It has been about 40 minutes. What you have to take into consideration is uh, the color of the little sago balls, but they can be a little white. They don't have to be all the way transparent to be ready. And uh, what we're gonna do now is add the sugar slowly and then you have to stir it until the sagu is ready for about 10 minutes you have to stir it non-stop it is normal that there is a little bit of stickiness in the bottom of the pan because the sago balls are made with tapioca starch so it is normal that a little bit of the sago balls will stick to the bottom of the pan and that's it, the amazing sagu is ready. Mm. Yummy! It is normal to have a little bit of residual in the bottle of the pit. Let me show you the consistency. This is how it looks when it's just ready and it will get thicker and thicker as it cools down. You can enjoy it hot or cold and uh, maybe try both and see what you like best. And uh, that's it guys, this is how we make sagu. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, let us know and see you next time, bye.